Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us try to understand the word chance and probability. In our daily lives, we come across the word chance. For example, we often use there is no chance of raining today or in a cricket match between team A and team B there is a chance that team B will win or we sometimes use that if I toss a coin there is a chance of getting hit and winning the toss. Now, if we can denote this chance of something happening or something not happening in terms of numbers, then it is called probability. Let us understand how we can denote numbers to our chance. For example, there is no chance of raining today can also be said as Probability that it will rain today is zero. Let us look at the second example. In a cricket match between two teams, team A and team B, there is a chance that team B will win. We know that out of the two teams, one of the team has to win. So that means the chance of team B winning is half. So we can say probability that team B will win is half. Let us look at the third example. If I toss a coin, there is a chance of getting hit. Now when we toss a coin, we can either get a head or a tail. And the chance of getting head or tail is equally likely. So, the chance of getting head will be 50% or we can say that probability of getting heads is 1 by 2. Consider another example. If we say that the chance that someday sun will rise from west has to be represented in terms of numbers then we will say that probability of sun rising from west is equal to zero as we know that sun rises from the east. Let us now consider the experiment of tossing a dice. When we toss a dice the various possibilities or the chances are that we may get one or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. That means that for a dice there are 6 equally likely possible outcomes. Now if I want to find out the chance of getting a 6 it is known that it will be one sixth or we can say that probability of getting six on the upper face when we toss a dice is one by six. Now suppose for the same experiment we want to find out the chance of getting an even number then how we will find the probability. We know that out of these six outcomes possible there are three possibilities of getting even numbers that is if we get two or four or six so out of six three numbers would satisfy our condition so we can say that chance of getting the even number will be three out of six 
So the probability of getting even number on upper face is 3 out of 6 or the same as 1 by 2. From all that we have done till now, it is clear that chance of an event to happen can have probabilities between 0 and 1. Those which have no chance of happening have probability 0 and those that are sure to happen have probability 1. For example, the chance that sun will rise from east is same as saying probability of sun rising from the east is equal to 1. Hence we have understood that there are situations in our life that are certain to happen. Some situations are impossible to happen and some that may happen or may not happen. The situation that may or may not happen has a chance of happening and that we measure in terms of probability. We shall study chance and probability in details in our later classes.